Hello friends, I hope you all are fine. Now we are going to continue this food ordering system. Sorry for delay, but now we will upload the video continuously. So you see, in this food ordering system, I added downloaded link on video description. So you can download this admin and user template from our video description. So let me show you the user template. We are going to use this template as a user site. This is the gallery, user login and register page over there, about us page over there, contact us. We need add to card, view card. So this is also available over there. So we are going to use this template as a user side. And for admin side, we are going to use this template. This template we are going to use over there. So you can download these templates from video description. So now we are going to continue this. So first of all, we are going to create login page of admin side. So you see in 80 dots, I created one folder of food, food ordering system. And inside that, I added these two folder, our two folders. So uh, let me run it. Yeah, you see, so this is opening, this is the index page, that's why it opens directly. But first of all, we have to create login page. So here you see, we have this admin folder inside our ATT dots. Here, this index page is this page, this page. But now we have to rename this page. Let me rename here. and I am going to take index 2 yeah so this is the index 2 page now inside this we are going to create new page new php file and we are going to take name index so you see this is the index.php page and now we are going to copy these login page full data I just copy and going to paste here so now you see here now when I am going to refresh this you see now this is the index page because when user open this admin folder on that time we need to load this page that's why we made this page as a index.php okay so now here we are going to change something design and etc so now let me change your first heading here Yeah, so we change these things. So here you see adding is changed. Now we need to change these things here. So this logo here we are going to write admin panel. Now you see now we need to increase the font height. So I'm going to use your font size, large and color white. So now you see this is the admin panel, but here we are going to you name admin login, and we don't require this remember me forgotten password. We don't need this, so we are going to remove this. Yeah, it's delete now we need only sign in button we don't need this facebook twitter so here this is for facebook and twitter so 
yeah i deleted it and we don't need here don't have account also so let me remove this yeah so you see this is done we know don't need your email we are going to use username so let me change here username and password so yeah this is perfect username password and here also we are going to change input type text username is a placeholder okay so this is fine now so we are going to use this design but you see we have to add here one message if user enter any wrong username password then we are going to display this so we have one page in design you see this page ui alerts in ui alert you see we are going to use this one as an error message so we have this page inside our page also here ui alert i am going to find yeah this one so i am going to just copy this and in login page we are going to put here now let's see how it looks yeah you see only we need to add some br over here yeah br is not working then style we are going to use margin top 15 pixel so now you see this looks good and here we are going to change the message invalid username or password now you see invalid username or password and now we are going to hide this message so here i am going to use display none and we need to give id invalid username or password i give this id okay now we are going to create one database so here so now in database here i'm going to create database food order in system and now here we are going to take this collection and now create now we have to create one table admin login and we need three fields now id then we are going to take here username so i am going to take here username then i am going to take here password as a username i am going to take 50 and for password also i am going to take 50 your primary key and identity auto increment now save yeah now inside this table we are going to add one default entry so here i am going to set username admin and password also admin and go because admin is not going to register from anywhere that's why we keep here one entry now we have to write the coding for this now you see this message was hidden now now here first of all inside the admin folder we are going to create one new file file name is connection this is the connection.php that we are going to use dollar link is equal to mysqli connect localhost root here mysqli underscore select underscore db dollar link and here we are going to use our db name or die so any problem then we can get here proper error that's why we use this die 
So now let me run this page first. Here. Connection.php, you see we are not getting any error. It means this file is okay. Now we are going to include this file here in index.php. Include connection.php. This is fine. Now when we are going to use any submit button or any form on that time we need here form name form one then we need to give action and we need to give method post yeah so we added this and now we are going to write here php code if is set do underscore post then we need to give here our button name right now we don't have button name so i am going to write here name yeah submit one now i'm going to write here echo yes this is working yes this is in working mode now here let me click here and you see we are getting this message it means this button is in working mode now so let me remove this and now we are going to give here proper name name username here we are going to use name password and here we need to give required and here also we are going to write required now you see let me clear this value and let me click here button you see without enter anything you cannot press this button okay so now here dollar res is equal to as well as query dollar link we are going to check here enter username is match with your database or not so select star from admin login where username is equal to dot underscore post username and password is equal to dot underscore post password we have to keep inside single quotes yeah that is fine now we are going to take dollar count is equal to zero then dollar count is equal to mysqli number of rows dollar res so if this query is correct and we are found any record from our db then we are getting here greater than zero values in our count variable if we didn't find our entered values then we are getting zero values so here if dollar count is equal to is equal to zero then we are going to display our error message so for displaying error message i have to use your javascript script type text javascript and here we are going to write document dot get element by id and our id is this then we are going to write here style then display is equal to block now let me check here we are getting error undefined variable dollar res so let me check yeah is equal to sign you see here invalid username or password so because we entered incorrect and if we enter correct then we have to forward on next page so again we are going to use this but in place of this we are going to write here window dot location is equal to demo dot php that page we are going to create on our next video because we are going to make partition on next video in login page we don't need to create partition but after login page we need to make partition so now if i'm going to enter an invalid we are getting this message now i am going to write threat values over here and press this button you see we are forwarded on demo dot php right now we don't have this page if you have this page then we are getting content of this page so this login page is ready here 
In next video, I am going to show you how we can make partition of admin side template. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, then please like it and share it maximum. Thank you so much.